Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with our first break of the day, and it's 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12-box Hobby Edition. Pick your team number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. A big, big thank you to all of these folks for getting into the action on the 26th, a nice Wednesday. Scott McNulty with quadruple last spot mojo, I think. He bought the last four teams all at once last night, and there's everybody else. Thanks for joining us. Good luck to everybody. It's going to be a big baseball day today, folks. We're going to have a lot of fun. Got plenty of Bowman Chrome baseball, ladies and gentlemen. So get into all of that action on jaspyshobbyland.com while supplies last. these boxes here all right so we have three rows of four right there that'll make 12 and start over here we got Otani and Acuna Jr. on the front that's what we're looking for two chrome autographs per master box good luck everyone Each mini box with one autograph each, of course. So who's in this break? What team do you have? Who are you looking for? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop a checklist for everybody, too. I know Bowman is obviously prospect heavy. So you may want to know who you can possibly get. So here is the uh, group break checklist, checklist in the chat, as well as cardboard connection, which will give you info on parallels. So be sure to take a gander at that. Knowledge is power. Bowen Chrome, always one of the more highly anticipated product of the baseball season. Now, there'll be more baseball releases coming up over the next couple months, but the baseball regular season, ladies and gentlemen, is, is coming to a close. Not too many games left, and a lot of things still undecided in the, uh, in the NL West as well. Well, the NL in general. The wild cards aren't necessarily... I think there's like five teams and four spots. And there is a possibility. There, there could be a scenario where there can be... Um, a multi-team tie, which would be kind of insane. So there, there would be a, there could be potentially a number of play-in games to get to the wild card to get to the, the first round of the playoffs, which is sort of insane. All right, here we go. Good luck. Nice. There's Bo Bichette. He'll be. A big name in the hobby next year. And our first autograph is for the Indians. Xiao Ching Chang for the Cleveland Indians. Scott McNulty, last spot mojo. There you go. Nice. So we'll set the autographs right in the middle here. Um, as you know by now, no, uh, no base will ship. All rookies, not prospects, and inserts, numbered cards and autographs, obviously. Obviously, stuff like this will ship. Parallels will ship, etc., etc. There's Gavin Sheets out of 50 for Brian Sawyer and the White Sox. Jeremy Merle saying, thankfully, his season is coming to the end for the Reds. The Reds have some decent prospects, though. Some decent prospects to look forward to. There's Brennan Little at a 655. That's Purple Shimmer 
for the Cubbies. That'll go to EA. It's in the game. That's what he's all about. All right, and the next side here, you have Hunter Green. That guy's going to be coming up the ranks. And we got a Noah Syndergaard, Jersey and Auto. 44 out of 75. Nice. That will go to Jeremy33 and the New York Metropolitans. There you go. We got a green Mike Trout, 88 out of 99 for Ben and the Angels. Joe Perez out of 250. Royce Lewis. Mitch Keller and Carlos Correa having back issues, Carlos Correa. All right, next box. Thomas Hall, wasn't the Angels Chrome 500? Why is Bowman Chrome Angels 250? Those products are, all the products are different price points. Not every product is priced the same way, so obviously prices for the teams will be different as well. Next box. Next two mini boxes as well. Uh, Patrick, all rookies, not prospects. Inserts, numbered cards, and autographs will ship. There's Jose Gomez. Jose Gomez for the Phillies. That'll go to Josh Proust. 16 out of 250. Jordan Hicks for the Cardinals. That's out of 250. 229 out of 250. TC with the Cardinals. Trevor Steven out of 499 refractor for the Yankees. That'll go to Ben. Aaron Judge. I do like how they add the uh, that Bowman Sterling kind of design into this set. And we've got Lamont Wade as your Twins autograph. Paul Cool Whit with the Twins. There's Keston Hiura, 43 out of 99, green for Scott and the Brew Crew. 
Yeah, Jeremy Merle agrees. He likes that Sterling insert there. Those will ship. Um, I kind of, I kind of, it kind of makes me wish like Bowman would bring back a full set of Bowman Sterling. There's Sheldon out of 655. Sheldon Noose for the A's. D Mac with the A's. Purple Shimmer. He's got walked off last night. Late West Coast action by the Mariners. All right. Next box. Bowman Chrome is great, ladies and gentlemen, because it falls after the uh, after pretty much the minor league season is over. And with the minor league season being over, you can look up a lot of these guys and see how they did this particular season. I think MLB.com also released a new um, a new prospect, like an updated prospect rankings, so you can see a lot of uh, a lot of these names making you know moving up, moving down, but you can see how they progressed this season from when we saw their cards in Bowman Draft or even Bowman Baseball earlier. Jeremy Merle, is there a team you would prefer the Dodgers not to face in the opening round of the playoffs? Well, I think I'm going to worry. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, feel like, I feel like beggars can't be choosers. I, I, you know, the Dodgers should just try to get into the playoffs any way possible, I suppose. I don't know if we can be picky about that. I think all the teams, I mean, all the teams are going to be tough. I think in most situations, the Dodgers would face. I don't know who they would face, actually. I think there's a chance they could face the Cubs or the Brewers, depending on on the scenario. They could face. They could face the Braves if they win the division outright, I think. There's Eduardo Diaz out of 499. Diamondbacks, Eric Bailey on the board. I suppose I'd rather not face I'd rather not face I'd rather not face the Cubs, I guess. At a four ninety nine. I don't know. I don't I don't know if I want to face any of the teams. Just go directly to the World Series. Like they used used to do back in the day, Jeremy. Remember that? <laughs> I don't know if most people remember that. They'd have to be um a little on the older side. Uh, back in the day, winner of the AL, winner of the NL, just went straight there. 142 out of 150. Helio Ramos for the Giants. Paul Cool Whit with that. And there is, speaking of the Cubs, there's Jose Albertos for EA and his Cubs. There's Jake Silence of the Lamb out of 150 for Eric Bailey. And there's Austin Allen out of 499 refractor for the Padres. And that'll be for Scott McNulty, one of his last bought mojos. Trying to find some ink in there too. Cito Sanchez. Lolo Sanchez out of 855. Purple Shimmer for the Pirates. That goes to Michael Gallucci. Seal Curtain with his Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, another nice box in the books. Next box. I think the playoff scenarios, Jeremy and everyone else, are so crazy. Like if the Dodgers and Rockies, if their record, if they tie, then the Rockies and the Dodgers would have to play a one-game playoff. 
because I don't think there's my understanding is there, there's no real like is there a tiebreaker maybe there maybe the tiebreaker like this the in-season record maybe determines who has home field but they still they make you play a one game playoff to determine the division and then the loser of that one game will most likely get the second wild card spot so that could be, that could be cubs or the cubs or the uh Brewers in the wild card spot, and then the loser of that obviously goes home. But then the winner of that will move on to see the Braves, which would be crazy. There's a crazier scenario, ladies and gentlemen, where if the Rockies, Dodgers, and Cardinals all end up with the same record. Again, it would be the Dodgers and Rockies, I think, would play a one-game playoff to determine, to determine the NL West. Then the loser of that, so let's say let's say the Dodgers win the West with that one-game playoff. They'll, they'll go and play the Braves. Then the Rockies, right, right here, the Rockies would then have to play the Cardinals. I don't have a Cardinals card next to me. Ro I do. Then the Rockies would have to play the Cardinals in a one-game playoff to determine who gets the last wild-card spot. Right? And then you go from there. <laughs> and then there's the wild card game. There's Kevin Maiton for the Angels. Nice. Out of 150. If you guys remember when the Braves got in trouble with the international signing money, they got one guy banned from baseball for life, one executive, and they had to release a big prospect. Kevin Maiton and the Angels picked him up. There you go. So the Angels, Ben with the Angels. There's a Rizzo refractor. So yeah, it's kind of kind of yeah. Mothra is like yeah. You he'll let them figure out all the mumbo jump. Well, I didn't, I need to know what what's going to happen to the Dodgers, Mothro. You gotta see what's going on there, but yeah, Jeremy's like I guess that's why I prefer the NFL, right? Because I, I think NFL they just decided by how do they decide like a tie or something like that? There's no bonus games. I think it's just by maybe home record, maybe record against, and then maybe points for. I think there there are a number of tie breaking things to get them to the playoffs. I don't know what happens if all those factors are tied. Uh, Brian Hernandez, I think if if you, in the NFL, if you go through like, you know, let's say you tie in all like five tiebreakers that they have, I think they just uh, I think they just flip a coin. If for some reason all the all those were tied, it's just a coin flip. Taylor Trammell out of two fifty. One ten out of six fifty five, Logan Shore for the A's. Darren McKenzie. All right, can you imagine getting in, getting into the playoffs on a on a coin toss? This is a great time of year for baseball, though. Like once all the regular season action is is done, and all that regular season dust settles, then you get into to baseball playoffs, which is which is extremely exciting. Even though the games can get kind of long, I think it, there's still an intensity there, sort of on the the edge of your seat, suspense that makes it so great. Mothro says, do it like the old days. Just one big AL and one big NL. And then just have the winners of those go directly into an old nine-game World Series.
That's 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 the olden days. That's before they. I mean, that's before they were West Coast teams. There were not a lot of, not as much traveling. I guess the next era after that, then they split them up East and West, right? I think that was the next progression. AL East, and you had the NL West, or AL East, AL West, NL East, NL West, and they kept that for a long time. And those guys would go directly into a, uh, a championship series. Then those teams would go directly into the World Series. The path was a lot shorter. There's Brandon Little, Cubbies. That'll be for EA. <laughs> Jeremy's like, I agree with Mothro, and then and stay off my lawn. Old whippersnappers. All right, there's Cody Bellinger, out of four ninety nine, who's starting to starting to feel it with the bat a little bit. Ah, uh, John Okray's back in action. How are things, sir? Took a, took a little break after the flawless Rogers one of one. Understandable. Got to cherish that for a moment. And got into to some more baseball later today. Excellent. Well, I'm sure that will happen tonight at some point. Kyle Young, Phillies. That'll go to Josh Pruce and the Fightin' Phils. What a great season this year, if you think about it. I know they started, as they kept winning games, they started raising the bar of expectation. But if you look back on it, Uh, 64 out of 250, Will Benson. That'll go to Scott McNulty and the Indians. I don't think we... Did we ever do a 20 chrome case break, Rex? We've done, like, regular Bowman baseball, 20 case breaks. There's Monty Harrison for the Marlins. That card will go to EA. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll do that someday, Rex. I don't know if I'll be doing it. We could have a we can have a uh, a rookie breaker or something like that. A new guy make him do twenty cases of Bowman baseball. Now twenty cases of Chrome wouldn't be that bad. But no. Seal Curtain, what's going on? You just missed a Pirates autograph or card? Moss, what's going on? Bruce in the house as well. Yeah, we, we may... We, we have kicked around that idea, though, Rex, of, uh, of doing another 20-case Bowman baseball break or something like that. A big epic break. But that'll be... <laughs> that'll be something we'd have on, like... Some sort of daytime channel. You know, some rookie breaker, some daytime channel where people can just kind of watch, like, uh, you know, like on mute or something like that at work. Maybe we'd do that. But I'm thinking if we, if we did that during primetime hours, we, we, would, we would lose viewership very fast on that night. All right, next one. Heath Fillmire, I think is a royal, I think. Now, Heath Fillmire, still A's edition going to Darren McKenzie. <laughs> Rex is like, is Joe P waiting for the Dimex to win again before he pops in here? Probably. I'm telling you, he only, he only shows up when, when the Diamondbacks beat the Dodgers. I think he's more interested in beating the Dodgers than the Diamondbacks winning. You know, does that make sense? That's the impression that I get. 90 out of 250, Walker Bueller. Well, no, not, not everything can be a 20-case break, Rex. It works with Bowman. Such a, that's such a popular product. 
I'm not sure if uh, a 20 case tops update would really work. There's Trevor Steven for the Yankees. Ben with the Yanks. Bruce says, I'm a little confused. NT is out today. Yes, correct. I, I saw that I put eyes on the cases that we have, the few cases that we have. It exists. But nothing on cardboardconnection.com. Really? They, they're they usually pretty good about updating the site. 41 out of 50. Gold Shimmer for the Tigers. Philip Lee with the Tigers. Hmm. Jeremy Merle saying checklist is out on cardboardconnection.com, Bruce. Oh, you didn't see it until, oh, until yesterday. Yeah, I think Panini itself, Panini themselves, kind of release tend to release checklists a little on the later side. In general, which makes everybody else late. What's up, Landon? What's going on? Yeah, tops. Top seems to be Johnny on the spot. They're they're always releasing checklists like a week or so beforehand. But Panini seems to be seems to always release their checklist like the night or two beforehand. I'm assuming they have everything ready to go. Uh, Landon, any big hits in this first break of our day? Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition Pick Your Team number one. We did get a Kevin Maiton for the Angels, which is pretty cool. I don't think we've seen him in an Angels uniform yet, have we? Or at least autographs in an Angels uniform as of yet. There he is. Oh, we got a Noah Syndergaard jersey auto. That was pretty cool. There's Garrett Cooper for the Marlins, EA with the Marlins. Wit, what's going on yet? Bowman party all day. Joey Lucchese out of four ninety nine for the Padres. That'll be for Scott McNulty. We'll sleeve up this Otani as well. I'm sure it has a little extra value. Uh, no, I did not, Rex. Did it look nice? I'm sure it did. All right. And there's Sheldon Noose for, for Darren McKenzie and the A's. Rex is calling an Acuna in the second to last box. You want to mark it, Rex? Which which one? Whatever second to last box I do? Or do you want to pick a box? So there's one, two, three, four, five boxes left. We're a little over halfway through the break right now. Byron Buxton to 99 for the Twins. That's for Paul Cool Whit. Followed by Willie Adams for the Rays. That'll be also for Paul Cool Whit. a little room here. There's Luis Ortiz. Purple for the Brewers. Scott with that one out of 655. There you go. Another box in the books. Let's do this one.
Rex, you should call the box. Box one, two, three, or four for the Acuna. And then I'll put a big R on it for Rex. And we'll open it last. Or do I still need to open it second to last? And I'll open it last, and then we'll be like, all right, this is the box of Rex called the Acuna. See what kind of sorcery powers you have. Because that would be sorcery. It would be some sort of some kind of witchcraft. Alright, next mini box. Only two final scores right now, folks. The Red Sox put a beat down on the Orioles, 19 to three, and the Blue Jays beat the Astros, three to one. All right, we've got Jake Ring. Speaking of the Orioles, orange parallel for the Orioles, EA with the O's. Nice. I like when the parallel matches the team color. 6 out of 25. Jake Ring. <laughs> there you go. Uh, there's Josh Harrison to, four, uh, to 499. Christopher, what's going on? How are you? Bruce is all in on the Blue Jays and the NT today. Nice. Yeah, we should have one of those going off pretty soon. All right, and we've got Rogelio Armenteros for the Astros. Astros on the board. Philip, no, sorry, check that. Jared, I have to go one, one more name down. Jared with the Strohs. From right to left, the third box. So this one, Rex, the one way back there. John Peterson, what's going on? Out of 150, we've got Eric Hosmer. Come on, top loaders. I want to make an appearance. All right, see you, Wit. I think that's the same box that Thomas Hull was picking as well. There's Chris Torres to 655, Marlins. So from left to right, third, so box three. One, two, three. Rex guessing this guy right here. All right. Oh, Thomas, were you saying the same box as well? All right. Uh, we got a Cindergard jersey auto and a Kevin Maiton, Rory, and an orange parallel parallel of uh, of an Oriole. box. All right, well, for the record, Thomas picks that one.
All right. Well, that would make Jeremy Merle very happy. He has the he has the Braves in this one. All right. There's Esteban Floriel for the Yankees. That'll head out to Ben. That's out of four ninety nine. Aaron Nola to four ninety nine. Cy Young for Aaron Nola. Close. He's had a great season. There's a nice Mike Trout, Bowman, Sterling. Out of four ninety nine. Yeah, the S of Floriel should be a pretty big hit. The Yankees are racking, racking up the prospects. There's Nicky Lopez for the Royals. That'll be for Ronnie McIntosh. Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals out of 150. Paven Smith to 499 for the Diamondbacks. And Kyle Funkhauser. That's a great name. 437 out of 655. I'm rooting for this guy to succeed in the hobby, Philip. Man. Old Funk House. We want the funk. Gotta have the funk. Rex says, oh, the box, since your box has a name on it, if it's pulled, it'll be your Acuna. And if it doesn't get pulled, you're paying for Jeremy Merle's spot, Braves. I got you. Nice. That's a good, that's a nice deal, Rex. Very confident. There you go, Jeremy. You heard, you heard it here, Jeremy Merle, who's in the chat as well. You heard you heard Rex say it. Any any relation to Marty Funkhauser? Michael Rittimer is asking. I'm not sure. Oh, Marty Funkhauser. So one of the Estevan Floriels, Rory is saying, his blue auto sold for seven hundred and fifty bucks today. Wow. That'd be pretty nice. Which character is he? I've only seen like the first couple of seasons of that show. Uh, I started with hobby number one. That's the first one that sold. That sold out last night. I don't think I don't think the HTA random sold out until today. Oh, he's the friend with the Dodgers tickets. I think that vaguely sounds familiar. I'll have to look it up. If I see the face. All right. We got Joe Dunnan out of 150 for the Marlins, EA. With that one, there's Scott Kingery out of 499. Keston Hyura. Um, for the hobby, I was asking, how do people already have 2018 Bowman Chrome graded? Rory is saying live, oh, live by Beckett, and they do it the same day. Yeah, that makes sense. There's Connor Seabold. That sounds like the name of a, a of a ship. The mighty Seabold going to Josh Pruce.
We've got, I know this guy, Russell Wilson. 363 out of 4. Now, Russell Wilson refractor. Huh, there you go. <laughs> Up close, he's also a championship pro quarterback. By the way, in case you didn't realize it. Now they'll go to the Yankees. That goes to Ben. Oh. Oh, you're saying they literally live by Beckett? I thought I thought Beckett had done some pre-openings or something. Oh, so you're saying live in... Do they really do it the same day for you if you take it to them? That I did not know. In Dallas? Just walk right up there. There's Luis Garcia for EA. Just knock on their door and be like, hey, I live down the street. Grade my cards. Please. Please. I didn't know they did that, boss man. Yeah, they do. Just walk right up to the – just ring the doorbell. Just ring the doorbell, man. <laughs> on one Beckett way? Is that their address? I don't know. Got to get past security. Got to get past security. Oh, so they're – oh, that that's pretty cool. There are a couple of breakers who – who live near in that area and they do that they just drop right drop it right off we would definitely if we were there we that's that's a service we would definitely uh that's a service we definitely offer all right down to our last couple boxes and then we're going to be doing a three box break of the same thing except the HTA Choice Edition, which is much faster than this. It's only a few cards per box, and it's only a three box break. And then I think we'll go through a couple more orders here, and then we'll see what else is, uh, is filling up or close to filling up. All right, we've got another Rogelio Armenteros autograph out of 250. Got Byron Buxton purple to 250 for the Twins. Brandon Marsh. At a four ninety nine for the Angels, that goes to Ben. And we've got a Matt Beatty. Arizona Fall League card out of one fifty atomic. I don't know much about Matt Beatty. Oh, the reigning Texas League Player of the Year, apparently. All right. There you go. Nice Bowman Sterling Shohei Otani. Austin Allen for the Padres, Scott McNulty. Maybe some low number parallels before we go to the next box. Uh, Monty Harrison out of 150. Marlins, that'll go to EA. Then we've got Albert Abreu. Uh, 47 out of 99 green shimmer for Ben and the Yankees. 
Any relation to Bobby Abreu? Ronald Acuna Jr. Refractor. And our final box. This was the box that Rex Guest would have. This man's autograph there. If he's right, then I'll give Rex $10 of break credit. You heard it here first, folks. 10 bucks, Rex. If you get a Ronald Acuna, if you guess the Ronald Acuna autograph, which will go to Jeremy Merle and the Atlanta Braves. <laughs> this is going to make Rex watch to the very last minute. That's how you get him, folks. This is this is this is professional live broadcasting. Got to hook him with the tease. Now everyone's wondering, whoa, will will Rex be right? Stay tuned, folks, to the last two mini boxes of 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition. Pick your team number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Will Rex win ten bucks a break credit? Has he guessed the correct box with a Ronald Acuna Jr. autograph? Will we pull a Ronald Acuna Jr. autograph? Who knows? Maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know. This is why we play the game, folks. Man, exciting. Right to the very end. To the very last minute. Right to the very last minute. This is the kind of extra extra little bit of value, entertainment value, we try to deliver here at Jasper's Hobbyland from coast to coast and all around the world. Right, exactly. If, if Rex is wrong, then he owes me 10 bucks. Oh, instead we have Arizona Fall League, Estevan Floriel. Go Tigers, you think it's a big jinx? No, we're not about jinxes here. We're all about positivity. 144 out of 150, I believe. I believe that even with this Estevan Floriel, big card going to Ben and the Yankees, that we're going to still find a Ronald Acuna Jr. here. Could be a one-of-one one super fractor. It doesn't have to be ink. Could be something big. Here's Harrison Bader to 499. There's Devers, who had two home runs today. There's Tuki Toussaint, made a start yesterday. Shohei Otani, Harrison Bader again. Yeah, the Arizona Fall League cards are pretty sick. There's Luis Robert. And Evan Steele. That's, that's that's not how you spell Ronald Acuna Jr. That goes to the Royals. That'll be for Ronnie McIntosh. There's Austin Riley for the Braves out of 150. There's Trevor Steven out of 50. Gold Shimmer. And Joey Votto at the end. Yeah, it must be that must be an error card back there. That must be did I go through these already? And there you have it, folks. That was our first break of Bowman Chrome Baseball, 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball. Twelve box. Pick your team number one from jazpeacehobbyland.com. We have more in the store, so check it out. And join the thrill of the chase. Chase train. We haven't seen a train whistle yet. Chase the train whistles and all the other fun stuff. Thanks everyone. Joe for jazpeacehobbyland.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.